Hello and welcome to the show. Back in 2017, Barack Obama signed a book deal, just as other former presidents have, and a production deal with Netflix a year later. President Donald Trump wants Democrats to pay a little less attention to him and a little more attention to the various deals former President Barack Obama has inked since leaving office. Trump, 73, lashed out at the House Judiciary Committee in a Twitter spree on Monday and once again urged them to investigate the book and Netflix deals Obama has signed, both of which are reported to have price tags in the millions. House Judiciary has given up the, on the Mueller report, sadly for them, after two years and $40 million spent, zero conclusion, zero obstruction. So they say, okay, let's look at everything else and all of the deals that Trump has done over his lifetime, but it doesn't work that way, he began. I have a better idea. Look at the Obama book deal, or the ridiculous Netflix deal, then look at all the deals made by the Dems in Congress, the Congressional Slush Fund, and lastly, the IG reports. Take a look at them, those investigations would be over fast. The Commander-in-Chief continued accusing Democrats of failing on the Mueller report and Mueller's testimony, thus prompting them to build a case that I enrich myself by being President. Good idea, except I will and have always expected to lose billions of dollars for the privilege of being your president and doing the best job that has been done in many decades, Trump wrote. I am far beyond somebody paying for a hotel room for the evening or filling up a gas tank at an airport I do not own. The radical left Democrats are crazy. Obama Netflix. Mr. Obama, 58 and his wife, former First Lady Michelle Obama, 55, signed a deal in 2017 to release their memoirs with Penguin Random House, an agreement worth a reported $65 million. Mr. Obama followed the lead of fellow former presidents like Bill Clinton and George W. Bush, who have published memoirs after leaving the White House, and the publishing company said at the time that a significant portion of the author's profits would be donated to charity. Mrs. Obama's book, Becoming, sold nearly 10 million copies upon its release last fall, making it one of, if not the most, successful memoir in history. Thomas Rabe, head of one of Penguin's parent companies, told the Wall Street Journal. Trump previously called for a probe into the book deal in July, saying, We want to find out what happened with the last Democrat president. Let's look into Obama the way they've looked at me. They could look into the book deal that President Obama made. Meanwhile, the Obamas also announced a production deal with Netflix in 2018, in which the newly created Higher Ground production company would create content for the streaming service. Netflix did not disclose the terms of the agreement, though similar deals with celebrities have been made worth millions. Producer Ryan Murphy, for example, is said to have pulled in $300 million for his latest Netflix deal, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Trump's Twitter boast that the presidency is costing him billions is also not the first time he's made such a claim. In August, he twice said that being in office was costing him between three and five billion dollars. First during a visit to a Shell petrochemical plant in Pennsylvania and again at the G7 summit in France. As for his references to gas tanks, airports and hotel rooms, those likely come from recent reports that the House Oversight and Reform Committee has been looking into his dealings with the Glasgow Prestwick Airport in Scotland, which is located near Trump's golf resort in Turnberry. The New York Times recently reported that Trump's administration has used the airport to refuel Air Force flights and local airport authority has been tasked with helping find accommodations for flight crews staying overnight. Thank you.